Welcome to Atrasi Hinote by T3 Solutions. I am Tasim Susan. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a spinning moon. It is a very wonderful animation. We will use shapes as layers and animated motion parts. To create the illusions of rotation. So let's start. This is our new slide. I am going to change the background of the slide. For, so for that right click and then click format background. Now I am going to change the color to uh, Green Ascent 6, Lighter 80%. Okay. Now I am going to close this. Now I am going to insert a rectangle over the slide. So for that click Insert. And then click Shapes. You can select from here. Or if it's not there, you can select from here. Now I am going to select it. Make sure you uh, cover the whole slide. Okay. Now I am going to change the color of this rectang rectangle. So select this and then right click it. And then now click format shape. Now I am going to change the color to black text one lighter 50%. Now I am going to click line and I am going to give no line. Now I am going to close this. Now I am going to insert a circle. For that, for that, click insert and then click shapes. You can select circle from here or you can, if it's not there, you can select from here. So I am going to select. If you want a perfect and clean circle, hold the shift key and the hold of the mouse button and drag. Now I am going to, I want to change the size of the circle. For that right click the circle and then click size and position. Now I am going to change it to uh, 5.2. Five. I'm going to do the same to this one. Five. Okay. Now I want to remove this uh, line here. So for that, click fill and line, and then click no line. Now I, I am going to close this. Now I want to make a copy of this circle. So for that hold control key and then hold left mouse button and then drag. Now I am going to move the cir this circle off the slide. Now I am going to subtract this circle from the black rectangle. So for that select the rectangle by clicking left mouse button. And make sure that you select the rectangle first. Now hold shift key and then select this circle. Now click format menu. Now click mode shapes. 
now click subtract now I want to rename this rectangle and this circle so for that for select this um, rectangle and then click format menu now now click selection pane now you can see that that I selected this rectangle so it so it is already selected here and you can see that this rectangle is named as free form shape 4 now I am going to rename it as black sky so black sky now if I click this oval for 43 the the circle will automatically be selected so now I am going to rename this as moon now I am going to uh, um, close this window now I'm going to insert a text box for that click insert and then click shapes you can take text box from here or if it's not there you can take from here so now I, so now hold left mouse button and drag now I am going to type Atrasi Hinode now I am going to type it one more time I'm going to change the font size, font style, and font color. So now I'm for that I'm going to select it, and then now I'm going to give the font size 39. So now I'm going to give the font style a real black. Now I am going to give the font color uh, orange. Now I am going to I am going to extend this text box. Okay. Now I am going to align the text box like this. Now I'm going to give uh, animation to this text box. So for that, first select the text box and then now click animations. Now click add animation and then click more motion parts. Now I am going to select the motion part right. Now I'm go I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to click animation paint. Now I'm going to play it. Now you can see that the text box is not going inside the circle fully. So for that, hold left mouse button on this red dot 
and then now I'm going to align it or move it here now I'm going to play it now now you can see that the text box is entering the circle fully but the this animation is very very fast so for to reduce the speed first click this down arrow and then click effect options now you can see that the smooth start is one second and this and the smooth end is one second now i'm going to make both of it zero seconds now i'm going to click timing now i'm going to make the duration 10 seconds now i am going to click ok now i am going to play this animation now you can see that the animation is moving very slowly Now I am going to give the font style and size same as what I gave to this text box. So for that select it and then now I am going to give the font size as 39 and then font style Arial black and then the font color uh, white background one darker 50 15 percent now i am going to um, extend this extend this text box okay now i am going to align it like like this now i am going to give an animation to this box so for that select the box and then click animations now click add animation and then click more motion parts now click left now ok now I am going to click animation pane and then I am going to play the animation now you can see the complete text box is not entering the circle so for that we have to adjust the motion part to adjust the motion part hold left mouse hold the left mouse button and drag on this red dot now I'm going to adjust it like now I am going to play the animation now the text box is entering completely in the circle but the animation is going very fast to uh, make it go slow click this down arrow and then click effect options now, now when the animation is being played uh, when it is starting a slight vibration will come and when it's ending also a slight vibration will also come so to remove that make
make a smooth start to zero second and then make smooth end to zero second. Now uh, click timing. Now you can see that the duration is two seconds. Now I, I am going to make it ten seconds. Now you can see it is going very slow. Now I want to rename this text box. So for that first, first select the text box and then click drawing tools format menu and then click, click selection pane. Now let me close this animation pane. Now you can see that this text box 2 is the white text box. And then text box 3 is the orange text box. Now I want to rename these two text box. So let me rename it. Press enter. Press enter. Now I finished renaming this text box. Now I am going to move this circle here. If you have difficulty in placing the circle properly, you can just right click outside the slide and then click grid and guides. Now click snap objects to grid and then click ok now, now i am going to give a gradient fill to this circle for that i am going to right click the circle and then click format shape now i am going to click fill and now click gradient fill now, now I am going to make the type uh, radial and then I am going to make the direction from top left corner. Now you can see that there are three gradient stops but we need only three. I am going to, I am going to select this and stop and then I am, go I am going to click delete now select the first gradient stop and then make change the color to white and make the transparency to 100% now select this gradient stop and then make the color to Green Ascent 6, Lighter 80% and then make the transparency to 50% sorry undo okay make the transparency to 50% otherwise you can type here or use this up and down arrow now select the third gradient stop and make the color to green ascent 6 later 80% now <laughs> make the transparency to 0% now let me close this 
pen here. Now let me go to slideshow and let me click from beginning. Now you can see that if I click the orange text box, text box is moving. If I click again, the white text box will move. But we we need both of the text box to move at the same time. So for that, first click animations and then click animation paint. Now click what now select white text box. Now you can see that it triggers on click. So we have to make it with previous. So for that click this down arrow and then click with previous. Now let me go to slide so and then let me click from beginning. Now you can see that both the text box are playing together. Now we have just one more work that is putting these text box behind the black sky that is the black rectangle. So for that select the black rectangle and then click format menu. Now click selection pane. Let me uh, close this animation play pane. Now let me select the white text box. Now, now right click. Now click send to back. Now I am going to do the same to the orange text box. Now let me close the selection pane. Now I am going to click animations. And then now I am going to click animation pane. Now select the orange text box. And then click this down arrow. And then click timing. Now you can see there is repeat here. Now click this down arrow and then click until next next click. And then click OK. Now I'm going to do the same to the white text box. Now let's see how this moon will look in slide so. So let me close the animation pane and then click slide so. Now click from current slide. This is the end of the tutorial. See you in next tutorial. Bye.